Generations, everybody. I'm so glad you're here, and I'm so excited about today's show. Today's show is about women's health. So call your sister, call your mom, call your girlfriend, call your neighbor, and tell them to watch because it's going to be amazing. Ashley, so glad to have you back. Happy to be here. God is good. <laughs> you excited about our show today? Yes, very right. excited. Well, Absolutely. well, why don't you introduce our guests? Okay, so typically we have the beautiful G Barbie. She is not here today, unfortunately, but we have the um, pretty impressive oh. <laughs> uh, board certified OBGYN, Dr. Right. Naomi Pascal out of Vanderbilt Medical Center. That's right. And she also does uh, several other things. Yes. So just go ahead and tell us about all that you well, do. Well, I finished Vanderbilt in the early 2000s and twenty. 2015, uh, I expanded my ob gyn service because of the addiction problem in Tennessee that we were having uh, moms delivering babies that were addicted that mm. were having severe crisis in the NICU. And God just led me to say, you know what, what would it take? Give me these ladies for nine months and, mm. and let me take yeah. care. Because at that time, the state passed a law to incarcerate women who gave birth to addicted babies. Mm. And so women would go from the labor unit to jail. Right. Okay, and that was crazy. Right. But God has put in my heart to look at what is the outcome? What was his design for you? Not how you got off track. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And how can we get you back to where you should be? Medication called Suboxone arrests those things until we get the social, psychological, and the mental health in shape. Yeah, we want to get into all of that. <laughs> yeah, so, so much to cover. Menopause, <laughs> all the fun stuff. All the fun stuff. So all my office is sort of like, you know, restoring women. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Restoration, wherever yeah. you felt post delivery. Yeah. How do you get back? your weight, yeah. mm -hmm. also mental health. We see depression increase after mm. delivery. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and some of these women that became addicted became addicted at the hands of doctors. Wow. So that really, really bothered me. Right. Why are we part of the problem? Mm. Mm. Which, which I'll ask you that too, because yeah. how do we find the right doctor. How do we? I think that is so needed. Mm. But but before we mm. go any further, I love to share a scripture mm. yes. at the top, even though it's already been a great show. I told you guys it's going to be good. Um, Isaiah fifty eight and says, "Then your light shall break forth like the morning, mm. your healing shall spring forth speedily, and your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard." I love it when it talks about your your mm -hmm. health springing forth speedily because sometimes people feel like because they're in a situation or having health challenges that there's there's no hope mm -hmm. but but you bring a lot of hope to a lot of hopeless situations and so where do we want to start um in covering Maybe I think like I think what you talked about earlier as far as what happens when when people have babies mm -hmm. um postpartum, mm -hmm. you know, how real is that? And what do we do to it, fight that? It's very real. And um, I run a special clinic on Fridays. If you can't get in on Fridays, that's, that's what we're doing. We're taking care of the addicted women. Along with that, their spouses or significant others saw such a change in their wives, girlfriends, that they wanted in on it. And so Seven years now, what we have seen is nutrition is such a key. Mm -hmm. Pregnancy accelerates all the weaknesses in your body because pregnancy is a great stressor on the body. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to have depression, I will see it. If you're going to mm. have addiction, I will see it. If you're going to have thyroid issue or diabetes or hypertension, mm -hmm. I will see it. Mm -hmm. So it's almost a predictor. Wow. And what we have seen is... What's coming out is the baseline nutrition is so important. Usually the first pregnancy, if somebody didn't have a problem, the second pregnancy and third pregnancy, especially on. if they're really close together, mm -hmm. it will come on. Um, 
I got into OB-GYN, you know, my dad's, a, I'll share a little test, my dad's a pastor, he's 78, but still ministering wow. and awesome. doing mission work. But his wife, my mom, had postpartum depression that led to psychosis and she committed suicide at six months. Wow. And so at when looking, you were six months, when I was six months wow. old, which is amazing that God has me here. Ooh, right. Okay. But as I started looking, I saw a similar pattern in other patients coming in. Mm -hmm. So I would do the survey and ask the questions. And sure enough, look back now at physiologically what happens. The body is pulling everything out for the next generation for that child. And mm -hmm. if moms are so busy, they're not paying attention, attention to their own body. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. And unfortunately, if there's a surgery, a C-section or anything that may need some type of pain comfort, their body locks onto it even more because the reverse is true. We have watched anecdotally as we have replaced their deficiency and we check it. Okay. And we see once we get certain vitamins, they're more likely to let go of those habit forming drugs. Mm. Crazy, which That's brings awesome. you back to let's look at nutrition. Let's look right. at basic nutrition and right. what has gone on in this country in the I last was about to 30 say, years. We were yeah. talking about that before the yeah. show started, how the food is tied uh, to like probably every, well, almost every when issue we look see. at our food industry and what drives it, it's profit. Mm -hmm. When mm. we look at what drives our food industry in America versus other countries. Mm -hmm. And it was a patient's husband who was came from France and she was leaving and she says, I'm sorry, I'm leaving. I love coming here, but um, had her whole check. I'm like, well, what did your husband do? He goes, he's a farmer. And I said, well, I thought he'd be excited being here with all the opportunity. She says, no, the amount of pesticides and mm -hmm. chemicals that are allowed here is illegal. In France, yeah. Whoa. Oh yeah. And I said, that's interesting. Why is that? She says, well, the government does not want their people to be unhealthy. <laughs> yeah, like it makes sense. So I never thought of that. And I started looking yeah. at other countries. Okay. And then looking at our food industry in the late nineties, there was a big change of labeling each food. Mm -hmm. The surgeon general actually took this on after Philip Morris the tobacco company. And that's how those class action lawsuits were won because the nicotine content increased from the 20s until the 90s. Mm -hmm. But the food industry was also advertising low fat, low fat. Right. So when they tested the foods, they didn't have low fat, it was high fat. So to compensate for the sale, the sugar content went up. So I try to tell my patients, Oof. read that label. Read you, the labels. Read the labels, okay? Because you don't need that much sugar. So the right. question is, well, what sugar's great, it's natural. Mm -hmm. And the word natural is a buzzword that I think has been marketed to yeah. deceive. Yeah, for sure. And Ugh. when you look at the sugar, simple sugars breaks down and stimulates a hormone in your body called insulin that prevents you from losing weight. Mm -hmm. That's the main purpose. Mm -hmm. And so the cells are starved, and, but, but that hormone keeps releasing. And as an OB-GYN, how are you involved in weight loss and right. hormone? Well, it affects the fertility cycle. Wow. So we're dealing with a lot of infertility. We're too. dealing with a lot of infertility. Uh, lot. Based from the food, we're seeing a lot of infertility. We're seeing a lot of malnutrition. We're seeing a lot of hormone mm -hmm. uh, variation, thyroid, endocrine, uh, as far as all the cysts, uh, all the cysts that polycystic ovarian. Uh, that's one of the most common ones I see, polycystic. And, and in it, the young women, I mean, like. 15, 16 year old women, it's because of the diet, the glue, what's the, the, a lot of the foods is what we call pro-inflammatory. Right. And so the gut has everything. They did some studies where they looked at the stool of people that were overweight and skinny people. Mm -hmm. And they saw the stools were different. So they did They did an experiment. Wow. They switched the stools. They did stool transplants, which sounds really gross. What? Okay? <laughs> well, guess what? Very gross. How in the what? world? Well, FDA couldn't, couldn't control it, so they didn't approve stool transplants for weight loss. So what they saw was the skinny folks became overweight. Overweight became skinny. So they looked at the gut flora. Mm -hmm. So this is where all that probiotic sort of fad yeah, came right, in, right. was that the gut flora was changed from all of the inflammatory high sugar corn syrup yep. that was being put in our food. Mm -hmm. So you're telling me that 
it really starts and ends with the food. It starts and ends with the food and the gut. It does. And if I, I just tell people, do a survey. What do you know that's not good? Mm -hmm. Okay, if you're drinking too much sodas, take that out. Yeah and start graduating to water. Mm-hmm. You may want to put fruit in there, but yeah. eventually you, you need, need the water. water. You right? need the water. You need the water. So we're making it maybe more complicated than it we're has to be? We're making it more complicated. If we really want health at every age, then we have to start at our food. We have to start at our food. And I say start taking out one at a time right. okay. until you can conquer that. Mm-hmm. If it's white processed bread, if it's going to the drive through, mm-hmm. you stop that. Mm-hmm. Okay. If it's... Uh, conquer one habit and get right. rid of it and replace it with a good habit mm-hmm. and then move on to the next, then, move okay. on to the next, move That's on good. to the next. Because you're looking at this health for life. Right, right. right. No and diets. I, we don't want to start yeah. diets. For life. That's a because, life status, Right, yeah. because you're looking at, I've got to preserve this body that God's given me mm-hmm. to the best of my ability until mm-hmm. the Lord comes again mm-hmm. and be uh, an agent to advance the kingdom of God. Yeah. I can't do that if I'm, if I'm unhealthy. unhealthy. Right. Right. Yeah. I can't do That's that good. if I can't have kids. Okay. Right. And maybe sometimes mm. it's for him to, to, for you to adopt. Okay, mm-hmm. but even in those cases, Still I, gotta be you got to be healthy, yeah, right. and it starts with what goes in our mouth. Mm-hmm. And it sounds like it's something that anybody can do. It is, and anybody it's affordable. at any <laughs> socioeconomic level. Uh-huh. Okay, so you think about how your great grandmothers ate. Mm-hmm. Everything basically got, came out of the ground, right? And the ground had certain bacteria with less pesticides mm-hmm. that was good for the gut. Wow, I know. So, so we need to go back to the olden days. Though. We need to go back to the olden days. We need, we need to have, and, and focus on, you know, how it doesn't need to be complicated. Right. All, all of the simple. disease we're seeing is what happened in affluent Europe mm-hmm. with the advent of pastries and fatty butter and mm-hmm. all of that. The kings and the noblemen, they have that problem. But now that's... Wow. Everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. And that, when you look and at... And not even the best quality. And not it. the best quality because <laughs> it's mass-produced here now. Right, right. So it's mass-produced, a poor quality, but additives to make you think it's better. Yeah. But it's not. Mm-hmm. It's not. And I like that you said, like, to t- tackle one thing at a time because I know for me, I can think about like, well, yeah, I probably eat a lot of stuff that's not good for me. And it can be overwhelming to it think, is a, I have to completely change my life. But no. if you just tackle one thing at a time yeah. and right. try to form new habits so that it's not this like, I'm doing this crash diet and I'm right. depriving myself of all the things that I like. Because typically once you fall off, it's like you go deeper and the down thing, than right, you and started. Definitely. The and, thing and, about I had, it, and you, you, you <laughs> had a front row seat to see that in my life. Right. The more diets, the more weight you gain, the more diets. So it's like, right. the forget sh- about diets. You need a new lifestyle. You need a new lifestyle. Style. And yeah. sugar is more addictive yeah. than narcotics. It is. Ooh, let's talk about that. <laughs> because you deal with them both. I deal with and that's <laughs> so. how I saw the similarities. Wow. Because mm. um, nicotine's pretty addictive also, but that but when I wean women from narcotics, I use supplement of vitamins. Okay. Vitamin D is deficient in so many people. Mm-hmm. Uh, folks with mental health issues, we see the methylated folic acid that's right. changed, that's deficient. Uh, chromium. So although you think the food's good, it's not. And people are substituting sugar for energy instead right. of sleep. Yep. Mm. Mm. Sleep. Okay. So we're boost, boosting ourselves up with all this sugar and the caffeine, mm-hmm. but too much is not. Right healthy and the part of it the sugar we get addicted to that can cause all type of behavior abnormalities that i see yeah um wow i mean everything you said is so good well it works in the same part of the brain and right. the medications that have come out are the same medications to curb smoking mm-hmm. it's the same one for weight loss uh, one of the weight loss medication and also cravings for acute um opioid detox. So what are the key things that you said people are deficient in that you supplement? So vitamin Um, D. Vitamin D I see a lot of um, iodine, chromium, because those are agents to help the hormonal structure for metabolism. 
Okay. And methylated folic acid for mental health, anxiety, depression, which I'm seeing a lot more, some ADHD, because it works on building that whole dopamine access. Right. So, so my question to you, so that everybody who's watching can leave with some type of action, mm -hmm. um, it can be so difficult sometimes and so overwhelming, like Ashley said, because the food industry, mm -hmm. the diet mm -hmm. industry, the health industry can be so confusing because mm -hmm. one person is saying, this is good, right. another person is saying, That's this is true. good. And, and what we all know, we finally know, is that there's not one answer for all. We're mm -hmm. all individual. Mm -hmm. And everybody needs to find out what they need, mm -hmm. you know. I've been talking to you about what do I need, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. What am I lacking? What am I mm -hmm. insufficient in? Mm -hmm. So my question to you is, what is the best way for them to really find out? Now you've given us something already. Sugar, you already, you, you know, <laughs> cut right. back on the sugar. Cut back on the sugar. Drink we know more that. water. But then you, but then you also said that you can have too much sugar. So what's too much and what's enough, you know? But ba basically finding out. For me, if I'm watching generations, how do I find out what's best for me? What am I lacking in? There are lots of easy apps on your phone. One is My Fitness Pal, okay? okay? That you can put your weight, your height in there. And I think that's really easy for people to get on that phone and, mm -hmm. and figure it out and look at your calorie. Look at your lifestyle. Are you active or are you sitting at the computer? Mm -hmm. And that will determine the amount of calorie that you'll need. Basically, if you're not menopausal, we're looking at 1,500 to 2,000 calorie. You should be moving about three miles or 10,000 steps a day. If you're not doing that, okay, okay, then you got to figure out. I'm sitting too much. I'm not. It's just movement. Yeah. Okay. I got to get out and walk, and I'm not saying go and run a marathon because right. you're not going to keep that up. No. Okay. Right. Not right. only that, it's going to be hard on your joints, mm -hmm. and especially if you're menopausal, then those joints are going to really, yeah. really speak to you. Okay? Right. You're like me, you're not even going to attempt a marathon. You're not going to attempt. <laughs> right. So I tell people, do something you like. If it's dancing or walking your dog, or even if it's cold outside, walking in a mall or yeah. some kind of a Just indoor move. facility, get to moving. Get to moving. So you say. And looking at your calories is important. Yes. So you want to, you certainly, when you look at, uh, let's see, we pulled up a Dairy Queen, which I never go to, on the road trip one day. And I looked at that and think, 2,000 calories? Yeah. Are you kidding ah! me? And then after <laughs> I pointed out, my husband and daughter looked at me, <laughs> mad at me, and walked out, too. <laughs> They're like, we know they too much. They were mad that you made yeah. them aware of what yeah. it was. Yeah, now, that is one thing that they yes. I, don't, I don't remember when they started doing that, but they had to list the, how, much, how many yes. calories are came, in each thing change. on the that menu. That came out of the labeling yeah. thing out of the late 90s. Yeah, so that, that was good. So it's like, yeah. this is my day's <laughs> worth of calories. <laughs> In this right. one milkshake. Right, so I think awareness. Because <laughs> there's definitely times I go to it, it's like, oh man, they got the Yeah, calories. it's like, maybe I didn't want to look at this. Right. Ignorance. I'm not going to have that. But when you're aware, but then you can't ignore aware, it. when you're aware, it's knowledge. Yeah, it's okay? knowledge. And That's it's right. knowledge. The better you do better. Right, and I think that is an easy way. Everybody's got a phone that mm -hmm. you can figure okay. out what's so, best for, for you. you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, That's okay. an easy Starting step. There. That's good. Water, reduce sugar. Um, Complex carbohydrate is better than a simple carbohydrate. What's the difference? A simple carb is pure sugar that the body just put, stores as fat. And that mm -hmm. would be, don't say it, the bread word? White. White, White bread. bread. White. So you can have bread if it's more of a grain. Whole more of a grain. grain. But okay. be careful. Read the, the labels. labels. <laughs> what are we looking for with the labels with bread? Because I You're love she's bread. A, she's love bread. She's so love bread. You're but I do sugar. like, I like the whole grain, multi-grain. Whole I prefer, grain. I don't ever eat white. Well, whole I should say grain. Ever. Unless the, it's a dinner roll. Right. <laughs> even, <laughs> if, I if, that, even but. guys, yogurt. Oh, that's great for me. Mm -hmm. Look at the Sugar. Added sugar. Right. So something that is less processed, less of the, if you can read what's on the back of yeah, it, then true. it's not a lot of chemicals you added. Got it. yeah. If you okay? can't read it, then don't eat it. Here's the crazy less thing. Once you start weaning yourself from sugar mm -hmm. and you go eat something, you will gag and spit it out. Yeah. Because yeah. your tongue will get blistered mm -hmm. because it was too much. Yeah. And your body, again, weans off of that. And mm -hmm. you're like, oh. 
oh my God, I was eating that? Yeah. yeah. What about yeah. supplements? Like, how do you find, what's the best way to find out what you're deficient? Is it just like going to get well, a blood test? Is sometimes it- you can tell from symptoms, okay? okay? Iron deficiency, Mediterranean origin, Sub-Saharan African, I see a lot more like uh, thalassemia, which is an anemia, mm-hmm. and that can get make you feel tired. Yeah, um, right. And so the iron's important, and I have to remind women, it takes 120 days to get that iron reserve up. So though, Ooh, right, it takes that long to get it up. Right, because it has to go only 15, one five or 20 percent of the iron actually gets absorbed in the gut. Then right. it has to make it down to the bone marrow to turn the red cells over. Wow. It's a long process. So yes. so going back to Ashley's question, so how do we... You, get you, the you, vitamin. You, yeah, mm-hmm. how do you... Yeah, what tests do we get or how um, do you know when right. you're When you're pregnant, we'll check you for some basic stuff. It depends on your doctor and how much they believe in the holistic view. Now, there are a lot more mm-hmm. docs that are coming out now that are looking at what's called integrative medicine. Yeah. Right. So it's I not that. just, yeah. just medicine. traditional medicine. Right. Um, having a too. background in pharmacology, all of our medications came from plants. Mm. Okay. All of our, it goes going back to aspirin, mm-hmm. to digitalis mm-hmm. came. So how does that integrate in today's medicine? Well, we have to look at better and purified form of it. And that's where that integrative medicine comes in. So we're not just looking at everything through one scope, but looking at the whole body. Right. Mm-hmm. The whole body, mind. Right, because it's all intertwined. All, right. Yeah. And that's why the addiction stuff came as more mental health. Right. That Ooh. people are like, how are you doing this? And now, thank you. Thank God that St. Thomas Baptist Hospital is testing all the patients coming in now, and they yeah. have mm-hmm. a center just set up for that. That I, you know, I was helping them in the yeah. process of that. Awesome. And but it's awareness. Mm-hmm. Vitamins, liquid vitamins are better. If your gut is so inflamed with pro-inflammatory, mm-hmm. and this is sort of yuck, guys, but stool. <laughs> if you have a good stool formation, mm-hmm. you're probably processing stuff right. Mm-hmm. Usually, good probiotics and they have to be in the million helps that system going okay yeah. okay so gut now, health is gut health is very very important mm-hmm. not only that but the vitamins a lot of it is powdered press mm-hmm. and it doesn't get it absorbed system, right. right yeah right. so liquid best way is. liquid if you can get it through raw mm-hmm. like a fruit or a smoothie that is mm-hmm. even better Okay. So food again, try food to again. get your vitamins yeah. out of your food is yeah. your first choice. But then if you need more, right. um, which then most of us do because of the food not being what it right. needs and to be. And the food is irradiated a lot. So if you can get it from the farmer's market or less, less processed, right. that's, that's good. The liquid a, form. A, a ear of corn, from the time it's picked, <laughs> mm-hmm. okay? Now think about this. For you to get 90% of the nutrients in the corn, you have to eat it about 20 minutes after it's picked wow. from the stock. Wow. Wow. This is why people, so many people have that. gotten into gardening now. Like that's yeah. become a trend yeah. because just, garden. yeah, people yeah. are more aware. Right, because we think our food is better than it is, but yeah. it doesn't have the nutrition. Why we're seeing it in our health. Mm-hmm. We're seeing it in every form, yeah. it's not just weight. Right. We're seeing it in depression, anxiety. We're seeing it in infertility. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're seeing it in early menopause. Early. We're yes. seeing so it in women thyroid. Women. Okay. We're seeing yeah. it in all of this stuff. And mostly what I end up doing, and I deliver babies too, but I end up straightening out the hormones and getting the period regulated, or if mm-hmm. they're menopausal, try to straighten that out to see what really is menopause mm-hmm. and what's other factors that mm-hmm. we can. Yeah, How are you pushing your body in mm-hmm. that without? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you have a difficult time with being a medical doctor and understanding all of the, like you said, the holistic approach? Did you find that there was a lot of like resistance, resistance with that because they just want you to medicate it as opposed to looking at the total the root cause? Yeah, yeah. Well, cause and not, how do you not with patients. Combine? Most of the patients that came were they were frustrated with traditional medicine because yeah. they were like, I know something's wrong with me. Mm-hmm. So I ended up seeing patients that had gone to four and five other doctors. Uh-huh. Yes, but, but but there are doctors that fight right. against that. There are doctors that fight against that, and my only, my only uh, comment to that is look for truth, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. When you look for truth, it will reveal itself. If, That's it's, good. if That's true. it's not, That's good. then it'll fall by the wayside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But once you hit truth, yeah. everything opens up. 
True. So if you're being told something that's not, the falsehood will raise you'll, itself. You'll yeah. If it's truth in there, then you'll see things happen in the right direction. So getting back to your question with resistance, I started seeing patients that were being turned away and started digging for answers. Mm -hmm. So I started digging at the biochemical level mm -hmm. of cell biology mm -hmm. and knew what to check them for and found the problem and then started working on fixing it. And um, just wow. a lot of good results. But right. you know, just seeing how patients, people don't want to feel bad. No, right. no. They don't no. want to be addicted either. Yeah. Mm. They don't want to be depressed, mm. okay? It's my job to help them and with God's help, yeah. guide me yeah. to figure out that roadmap and how to get them back on. Because you know, people want to feel good. Yeah, they to want to be their good. best. They want to they be, want their, be best. their best. And that's how I feel. I feel as a physician, my job is to help people be their best yeah. and restoring them to what they're capable of doing. Okay. Being their best I have every question. age. I have another I have question so many of them. For, for people my age. Yes. Um, how can we avoid menopause? <laughs> Is that possible? Can we kind of skip over the, that? You mean the you mean the, what part the of side menopause? effects? What part of, of menopause? menopause? I mean, I think the hot flashes is through, the main yeah. thing. I get that we're your body's going to change. Questions. We got a lot of questions. We're going to get right. to that. But before That's, we get to that, because we have a list I of those. I want to know how to skip over the <laughs> okay. hot, the hot okay. flashes and all of that. <laughs> so, but before we get to that, you said something about wanting the truth mm -hmm. and 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 you know praying and asking mm -hmm. the Lord because we all know as women of mm -hmm. faith that mm -hmm. that's so crucial in any thing that you're in, praying and asking God Absolutely. to lead you and to I mean, God gives us insight. You yeah. know, he created, he, he created us. Right. And mm -hmm. I think I shared at one of the other, uh, the luncheon that it hit me that the way the brains develop, we were made to worship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I kept asking him, well, what's the big deal? And God gave us all these rules. He gave it to us for a reason, yeah. okay, a reason. You need six days and the seventh day you, you worship. worship. But what right. was the worship for? Worship stimulates dopamine, which is your natural feel good. Mm -hmm. And when you don't have that, you're going to seek a false right. mm -hmm. worship. There you go. A counterfeit worship. Yeah. Because remember, we took the place of Lucifer. Mm -hmm. So his great job is Was a job, worship. Yeah. it worship, but he has deceived us to let us look for counterfeit. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't need to go to church today. Mm -hmm. You don't need, no, there is a purpose. purpose. There is a the, physical. Even the natural. In the natural. In yeah, the natural. And so when, good. And when you Dopamine. worship, Mm. That dopamine makes you feel good. Come on. And it's a natural regenerator. You don't have to worry about getting that, never being able to get that high of worship Come again. On. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about drugs, okay? Cocaine. <laughs> Most people, not most, every pe person that's on cocaine, that cocaine gives you a slam mm -hmm. real quick, mm -hmm. okay? And you feel like you can walk in water. But mm -hmm. guess what? The next time, yeah. mm -hmm. it's you never, won't that, you same. won't get that. Yeah. You won't get that. You'll wow. keep trying to get it. <laughs> Tree try yes. <laughs> okay? Worship. You can get it. And it will not, but Come worship. On. Worship on the other the hand. High. <laughs> keep going. Get, get, get and music. <laughs> also transcends language mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it hits the midbrain. It's called the amygdala and limbic, limbic system where emotions are generated. Mm, wow. Mm, that's awesome. That's good. It's that's powerful. Speaking back to you, <laughs> <Yes>. right? <laughs> so, no, and I actually sort of, so I was really like yeah, digging, that's reading. That's good. And like, God, what, what is all of this for? You, you have the answers and it hit me. Yeah. This is why we've got to, you know, with the addiction, I try to get them back to more normality, but ultimately get them back in some church of worship. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. so okay. important. Yeah, we're talking about because health. They've been it's fooled. part of health, that's Because good. that's the purpose of mm -hmm. Satan is to, is to fool us from our inheritance. Yeah. 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 And there is an inheritance. We are the worship courts. We are the bride, you know. Yeah, yeah. of Christ. We, right. Of Christ. We are the conglomerate energy around him. That's mm. so interesting you said that. Because I was just thinking the other day, 
um, reading this story of the Israelites and mm -hmm. how Moses went up to the mountain. He was taking too long, and they were like, we, let's let's come up with an idol. And I was like, oh, why did they need to worship? Like, I was like, why didn't they see it as an option to just not worship? But I love that you said, like, we were created, created to, to worship, worship, so they had this need, but they found a counterfeit. Every man has a need. Yeah. Mm. They're going to, whether they're... They're worshiping something. They're worshiping something. They're <laughs> yeah. worshiping something. Okay? Yeah, because we were created so to do that. But when you worship Jehovah, okay, mm -hmm. you have a natural regeneration of that feel good that nothing replaces. Nothing and, can replace. And people that have intellectual knowledge of God, that they don't have that spiritual Spirit. part. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm They don't, they, you know, David was after the heart of God because mm -hmm. he worshiped. Mm -hmm. That's right. He worshiped right. with the harp. Right. And, yep. and, and that's why he continued, even though he fell, whenever he got away from that, he, he got back. confused, yes. but he came back. came back. He wanted to be in the house of God. He never yeah. wanted to be a day yeah. without because he knew what that felt like when he didn't have that feel yeah. good natural. Right. Yeah. Right, and if we're talking cool. about health, we're talking about spirit, soul, and body. Yes. And we try to isolate yes. them, but they're all part together. You can't, you we can't. Want mental health, and how it's all created. about, it's, it's everything. So, so going back to my other question, that was great. So what type of test, if I went to get a test, what type of test would I ask for as far as a blood test to find out? Because mm -hmm. like you said, some doctors embrace holistic, some don't. But if I want to know what's good for me, again, we've covered great things with with uh, my fitness pal or mm -hmm. apps out there mm -hmm. that are out there. Some, I'm yeah, not trying very, to do they're, a, they're free. a sponsorship. Right, right. No, I'm not either, but <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm saying but the yeah. ones that are easy, mm -hmm. you, don't wanna pay, easy. you don't want to pay money for it because right. you don't want to it's get... Free things out there. Right, mm -hmm. screen them out. So right. what, type of, what type of tests would we ask for? Um, depending on your age will determine what needs to be done. And as a woman's health expert, you have to look, the period is a guide. Okay. 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 That's so good. if you're menopausal, then I'm not going to use that. I'm going to have to do more testing. I'm going to have to do more, more hormonal testing. Okay. Got it. If hormonal you're in testing. your 20s, I'm going to look at that cycle and sort of figure out where is the problem? Is it fatigue? What is going on? Is it a cycle of regularity? Is it weight? Is mm -hmm. it acne? So it's asking those questions opposed just to just saying, give me this test. Correct. Okay. So that's, that's where the okay. physician comes in and, and uh, hmm. ask the right question to figure out where we need to send you and how we need to do this. Okay. So, you know, getting a whole panel of stuff that's costing you $3,000 is not right. beneficial. No, Got it. It's not beneficial. Very good. Okay. And so you really need to have somebody that listens to you, yeah. number one. So a good guy. A physician that will listen. Yeah, and I think that, that really listen. comes for I like word it. of mouth, which I think listen. most people do. Ask like, who's your doctor? Listen. Do you have a good doctor? Listen. listen. And to also be willing to be honest about all your symptoms and not Correct. feel shame or embarrassment. Like that's so right. good because that's the only way you're going to get the help is if you tell them everything the that's right. going on. Don't right. hide anything. Yeah, right. even the yucky stuff like you. Right, and and I <laughs> think that will help guide you in where you need to be to not overspend on all these tests because it can really, really put a dent in your account if the wrong tests are done. Yeah. But listen to some stuff and yeah. figure out where where you need. If there's a period irregularity, then the hormone is right. more important. Important, okay. you mm -hmm. got it. And if You're it's right. not, then we're going to look at nutrition and uh, vitamins mm -hmm. and deficiency in some of those vitamins. Gotcha. That's awesome. Okay. Awesome. Man, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. Oh. Good information. Stay with us. We're going to be right back after this. Okay. When we come back, we're going to uh, get some of those questions answered okay. yes. that you all asked us. So we'll see you in a minute. Hey everyone, it's Cece here. Thank you for being a part of my YouTube community. If you enjoy the content from this channel, would you do me a favor and hit like and subscribe? My hope is to create more content that will draw all of us closer to Christ and your support helps me to spread the gospel. Me and my team have a lot in store for this channel and love to hear your feedback in the comments. Thank you in advance for your participation and may God continue to bless you. Welcome back. Welcome back to Generations and um, this incredible show on women's health. Um, it is such an important uh, show for me 
personally. Um, I'm so happy to have Dr. Pasco here. You're amazing. Oh, thank um, you. And Ashley. Uh, but it's such an important show for me, um, especially at this stage of my life. You know, I just turned 57 years old. And, you know, when you get my age, you go to thinking about ending well mm -hmm. and aging well. Mm -hmm. And um, getting the maximum out of life. I have more life. Well, I'm not going to prophesy that. I might have more life in front of yeah, me than I have in back of me. Yeah, you live to be beyond 100. <laughs> that's right. That's right. But you want to do it well. I just don't want to be here. But I want to enjoy every stage mm -hmm. of life. And so it's so important that I understand what I do today affects my tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You know. And so these questions are. Uh, it's amazing. They're priceless when you get somebody who not only has the knowledge, but also has the relationship with God, mm -hmm. understanding how it all goes together. Mm -hmm. You know, what about you, Ashley? Why is this important yeah, to you? Yeah, I think, like you said, the older you get, you just naturally think about health more. I think, you know, when you're in your teens and 20s, you're in that invincible stage and you don't think anything can really affect you because you're young. And then I think you start noticing like, oh, I, I've got a little extra fat here. I guess I can't because everyone would be like, oh, yeah, you've got that, that quick metabolism. You mm -hmm. don't have to think about that. But just mm -hmm. wait till you're 30 and then you start noticing changes. So it does make you think about, okay, what am I eating? What am I putting into my body? And I think it's important to have balance. I think women especially, you know, dealing with insecurities and body image things, it can, you know, be an open door for things to be impaired yeah. and for things to be extreme. And I think it's important for women to know how to take care of themselves, mind, body, spirit, right. um, and be balanced, to live a balanced life. Right. And I think, of course, that starts with having that relationship with the Lord and knowing your identity in Him and mm -hmm. everything through that. But also, I'm big on practical application. Okay, God does his part, but now we have to do our part. I, like yeah. you said, if we, well, you said earlier, when you know better, you do better. So just awareness and figuring out practical and sustainable ways to live our healthiest life and to live a full balanced life. And um, yeah. so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about learning more about my body as a woman because I didn't realize how little I knew <laughs> until I got pregnant. And I was right. just like, Man, did like health class fail me? I didn't know any of this stuff. Like I didn't understand even right. just the process of getting pregnant. And then once you're pregnant, a million more questions pop up. And then you think about, okay, I have to deliver this deliver baby. baby. And like, oh, yeah. more stuff that I didn't know. And then of right. course, after the baby, a whole it's just like never ending. So I think it's exciting to learn as much as you can so that you can be proactive mm, right. about your health. Learn as much as you can and start as early right. as you can. Start because now. Because your, your, your teens or your 20s will affect your 30s and your 30s will affect your yeah, 40s. Yeah, forming and, good habits. And so on, on, so on and so on. And so, so we're excited that you're here um, watching and we're excited that you're here, Dr. Pascal. So we're going to, we have so many questions. We should have had you like, this Too is part many one. We have never yeah. come back. <laughs> Lots of questions. But we're going to we're gonna play a game here, okay. all, right? all right? And we're going to hit you with a few questions. We're going to try to get them all in. Thank you guys for sending them in. And um, uh, But but we're going to need short answers okay. so we can try to get everything right. in. Try. And, um, <laughs> and But before we start, where can people go to get some questions yeah. answered in case uh, we don't get them all They can here? go to NaomiPaschalMD.com. We have a full website, and you can put a, a, a question there, and we'll, we'll look out for them. Okay, yeah. okay. Cool, cool. So great information. We got y'all covered on Generations. We got you covered. <laughs> all right, all right, it's starting. Okay, first question. What age should routine testing begin? Okay, routine testing for women's health usually begins shortly uh, after sexual activity or age 21. What we're seeing right now is 21, mm -hmm. or if there is problems, meaning with the cycle. Okay? Okay, okay. So initially in America, most people start their cycle about 12. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Um, African Americans may start it a little bit earlier. And a lot of the studies were done with Caucasian women, but 10 to 12. Okay. Okay. First two years, it's irregular. If it's not regulated in two years, then you need to have a visit. 
Okay, okay, that's good enough. Got it, got it. Number two, how can doctors make women more comfortable going to see an OBG? Oh. <laughs> um, this field was really dominated by men. And in the last 20 years, we've seen more women take hold of this. So we're seeing, interesting is, is that there are fewer male physicians in this area now, okay. which means that the specialty is a surgical subspecialty. So it's pretty hard for women, but now women have figured it out. You know, yeah. I had a nanny when I was training, and mm -hmm. so you, awesome. fi you figure it out. Yeah. But how do you feel comfortable? Look at the office, look at the staff. Um, and sometimes the staff may or may not represent the doctor, but right. how do you feel? Do they make you feel comfortable? Yeah. Okay. They should never push you for an exam. If it's the first exam, they should take every precaution to make you feel comfortable. Good. And you okay. said something earlier, look for a physician that listens. That listens. Awesome. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Sometimes good. for young girls, I will do um, some simple, non-addictive, like local numbing stuff and mm -hmm. helping them through that. Awesome. But there's a way to get through it. Awesome, awesome. Okay, we're doing good. Okay, this is kind of a loaded question. Right. How do you deal with hormonal imbalance, huh. hot flashes, and mental health? And I think you had a question. You were trying to see how do you get <laughs> Yeah, past. I was like, is our hot flashes a healthy, normal part of menopause that it's like, just get ready, this is part of it, you're gonna deal with it, or are there ways around it? <laughs> Well, there are ways around it, okay? Does it deal with mental health? Yes. Hmm. So the hot flash is a result of the hormones stopping, yeah. okay? And the weight gain also, mm -hmm. okay? And the first thing that goes is, is the progesterone, and that affects sleep. You need sleep mm. to help right. balance your mood. Yes. Lord. So when the sleep goes off, <laughs> the moods are not right, mm -hmm. and it depends. Um, you know, our grandmothers did not have high, uh, busy schedules, and right. so what is your life? Are you at home mom? Do you, you know, what, what and what that's to doing? negate, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Are you in a high stress, stress, stress. Mm -hmm. and a high, but where a lot of things depend on you, and you have to perform, mm -hmm. okay? Whew. So yeah. for myself, I, I couldn't have a bad day. Yeah. Okay. So when I hit 50, sure. I'm like, look at the risk. I'm like, do I have risk? You need a full checkup then. You need mammograms. You need to look at risk for throwing blood clots. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, then you have, once those are good, you have safe, a safe uh, range of things you can take. There are things to do um, herbal wise that are not hormones for hot flashes. And I have put some patients on that. Okay. Um, but it's a natural process. And when the yes. body starts decreasing estrogen, it wants to store it and make it. And where it makes it is in the fat cells. Mm. So, so with that question, everything is better when you, again, take care of yourself, watching your food, mm -hmm. making sure you're at a good weight, you're yes. eating the right amount yes. of calories, yes. you know. Um, like you said, taking out, going back to the basics mm -hmm. will, even though it's a natural process, some people's experience is a lot worse than it's others. It's exaggerated because of, well, because I, of, right. of not and, being healthy. Right. Smokers are going to have a harder time because they've damaged receptors. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you've exposed your body to uh, abrasive agents, you didn't eat well, all of that, you're going to have a tougher time going through menopause. Mm -hmm. um, if, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, yeah, just, it, it no, is, it yeah. catches up. And, but if you've had a good diet with supplements and you know, you, then you usually fare better. Mm -hmm. yeah. Genetics does determine when you go through in menopause. You're gonna go through whenever your mom did. <gasps> mom? Uh, when did that? Oh man! <laughs> I was laughing. So that's the reason a why I'm laughing. Yeah, the when, reason when why I'm laughing to because I remember this. when I had my first hot flash, right? And and <laughs> <laughs> up until then, I was just rebuking them. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, yeah, is that I an know option? that Does that's not God's will for my life. He does work? not want me because you hear women talk about <laughs> it, you know. Sounds and I just awful. remember the first day, I was just like, oh no, my Lord. God. It felt like fire on the inside. Yeah, it does. And, and, and then I was like, oh no, no, this can't happen anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you're right. When you cut out sugar, yes. it subsides yes. big time. 
Yeah. Wow. So I didn't. I had them really intense at the beginning, they and go, then yeah. it, and then I, I I think mine left through prayer, <laughs> <laughs> confessing, and yes, Faith. definitely watching the sugar. Yeah. Okay. Sugar will intensify it. Absolutely. At least for me, it did. Absolutely. And, and we, uh, uh, so happy. you better yeah. stop it now, okay. Mel. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Some women go through without any. Yeah, I know. I'm and trying I, to get into that yeah. percentage, See? so but, it's but, possible. But, but it starts how how many bad habits as far as diet habits okay. it comes back down okay. to. Okay. So yeah, yeah it enough. is possible. <laughs> it is possible. I'm hang on and to then that. it is your choice whether you want to do a hormone supplement because yeah, yeah. there are lots of negative stuff. So again, mm-hmm. you need somebody. I was somebody. about to say, I was about to say because yeah, what you hear so that? many bad things about taking hormones. Right. Yeah, what is what's your what are your thoughts on that? What is your thoughts on that? Well, on I think it's first of all to make sure you don't have risk factors. Right. So the studies that came out, at the, uh, I've been around since all of this hormone debate went on, mm-hmm. and they did a big study in 2001, 10,000 women, but the range was from 35 to 80. Mm-hmm. And they had some bad results because 80-year-old women are going to have heart attacks, strokes, and blood clots, okay? Right. <laughs> well, it, it, it confounded all of the information. And... FDA required the drug companies to start looking at safer ways of hormone. Now, okay. there is good news, okay? We actually have a new estrogen that was discovered that is fetal estrogen made out of the fetal liver when mom is pregnant that oh. could be safe and natural. Wow. wow. Okay? Where it doesn't stimulate breast cancer or blood clotting or some of the negative stuff that we've Mm -hmm. seen. It's brand new out. And I thought, wow, it's E4. There's four different estrogens. Wow. And we've been using E1, E2, E3, which seems to have more negative. So the good thing is there's some good good, news on the horizon. Praise the Lord. That's good. Okay, let's get through a few more questions before we have to close. Um, what causes UTI infections? Okay, depends on what age. Okay. Okay. Um, younger women, I think it's hygiene. Okay. Okay. Older women, menopausal women, the urethra has a valve, like in your mm-hmm. sink. Okay. Estrogen keeps that tight. So as you get older, that loosens, it loosens up. and okay. it doesn't hold normal bacteria, bacteria in the vagina, gets into a space that it's not supposed to be. Okay. That's it. Interesting. So okay. we can work on that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's, let's, let's go from there to, to this next question. What is considered proper vagina health? Hi, health, okay. Proper vagina health, I advise against uh, the word, uh, and these, whoever, the younger, Population may not know. Um, years ago, women used to douche. Right, right. It's all douching. We totally advise against, against that, that. Okay. Because you're taking uh, bacteria that's normal outside and you're putting it in a space that doesn't belong. Mm-hmm. It may seem good at first, but it's not. The vagina has its own natural sort of house cleaning bacteria. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So good vaginal hygiene, bathing, um, I think. Um, um, if you're on your period, not to you keep a tampon in there longer than long. that's indicated mm-hmm. because then that could harbor lots of bacteria. Okay. Um, I'm not for putting garlic for ba- bacterial infections. I've heard of some people doing that. Yeah, I think home remedies. Home remedies. I think, I think, <laughs> I've never heard of I that one. That was <laughs> <laughs> right. I think we yeah. have safer ways of doing that. <laughs> garlic. Oh, okay. no. Safe way, no really. Right. Now, that, now, now okay. <laughs> There are, if, if people feel they have an odd odor or something, there are natural pH balancers that mm-hmm. can do. But you shouldn't okay. have to do anything. Right. You, okay? right. you shouldn't yeah. have to do it. That's how God created us. Right. But if you have antibiotics or you've been in the hot tub or mm-hmm. you've been at the pool too much and you've introduced other stuff that may change that normal flora, there is some over-the-counter stuff that says pH balancers. Okay. 
Okay. Wow. I mean, we, we were talking earlier, you were just saying how important yeah. vaginal health yes, is, it is because everything comes <laughs> everything through. Everything comes through. <laughs> it does. It does. Right. I mean, right. it's funny when I tell people I'm a vagina doctor, they just sort of like take a double <laughs> take. Yes, I am a vagina doctor. But, you know, God, God, created, doctor. God created all of our, our eyes, yeah. our yeah. teeth, every, inch, every inch, and he had a purpose in his design for all of it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So true. I love it. I love it. He, he designed it all. He knows yes. how it all should function and yes. work healthy. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, how important and how often is uh, should you have a breast exam? Um, Yearly mammogram or what? So I advise young women to get used to checking their breasts. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay definitely, doing your own check. definitely in your twenties. I would say two weeks after the period. Usually the breasts will change when you're right. getting up five days before the period. Maybe lumpy or painful. Breast cancer knots are not painful. Okay, they're usually not painful. Recommended age for a mammogram is age 40. Just a basic screening every one in two years. If there's a family history, you want to be more. a little bit yeah. more. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but the best thing to do is to check your breasts. If you find something in your 30s, you know, watch it. If you had a family history, a strong history of cancer, I'd be calling your doctor right then. If you have a good staff like I do, they get that mammogram before I even see it, okay? Mm -hmm. As soon yeah. as you call, they've got you in the, the uh, radiology department that afternoon. Okay. And so, yeah. All right, okay, two more questions. Um, uh, do women hit a sexual peak in their ages? I don't believe that there is a peak in your age. I okay. really depend um, sexuality. There, it's multifactorial, mm -hmm. so there are many different things that, that contribute, contribute to our sexual peak. Um, hormones may be a small part, but a lot of it's mental, our stress, our environment, our spouse, and various things. Because um, I've had, I've taken care of women in their late 70s guys yeah. out there yeah. <laughs> that have remarried. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. And a, they yeah. want to go on a drive, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. So, and we, so but, but I'm shocked that you said hormones have a very small it, part it, it. It does it overall a sexual Peak. Peak, okay. Got Peak, it. okay? Got it. Because that would say women that are young that have normal hormones, they should be sexually vibrant. Got it. And that's not always true. That's not yeah. always true. You're right. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so. good. All right, last question <laughs> that we're going to end on, and I think it's very appropriate. Um, how do you have a healthy pregnancy? Oh, okay. Um, I would recommend going for pre pregnancy counseling, okay, before you get pregnant. Hmm go and let them do a history and see what you need to look out for. I usually put folks on, I mean, we'll, we'll see healthy pregnancy. If they're overweight, I want you to lose about 15 pounds, 15 to 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. If you're underweight, I want you to gain some weight, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and then put you on some supplements, like if you're iron deficient, I want you to get that iron up. Yeah. Um, then a good multivitamin for three months. Mm. That's it. Wow. Okay. So very good. Simple very good. Enough. Simple. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Well, we're going to close here. Anything else you want to say? I think we've, I mean, we could be here for several days. Y'all ask me back. I, yeah. I, I think that. <laughs> you have an idea of what I think I the do. biggest thing Come is on. knowing that it's not just in our minds that no. these things are popping up left and right, like infertility. I just like we're hearing about so many different things yeah. more and more. And um, knowing to, yeah, look at the, the gut health and nutrition and, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. everything I, else. I think, I think it's real it. encouraging that all the things we really covered today, that there's hope. Right. You know, Absolutely. And, that's what this show is and, about. I, and I tell patients, especially infertility, God is the creator of life. Yes. Mm. He gives us the tools to help you, but He ultimately creates life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I that's tell good. my infertile patients, I want you to get up. I want you to thank the Lord each day for His will in your life. Mm -hmm. um, I personally walked through infertility for 11 years, wow. worked at an infertility center, did all of that. And I had to just profess the Word of God each Amen. day. Mm -hmm. Every and day. the Word is so important to speak it because yes. even, 
you know, the Bible gives in, Jesus spoke. Yep. Yeah. The word yeah. was spoke Power into existence. So I tell people, mm -hmm. speak it every day. That's speak good. Life. Speak it. Speak life. Yes. Yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Speak life. Speak it. Yeah. Because you're verbally saying it, you are clearing your space, mm -hmm. and it's it's sending a message mm -hmm. until you become pregnant, or God brings a baby in your life, or He births a ministry in your life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is, we want you to speak life. We've speak talked about life. the importance of confession mm -hmm. and confessing the word of God of your life. The word of God is powerful, so it doesn't matter what type of um, uh, disease you're dealing with or any type of sickness, we all know that by his stripes we're healed. Amen. You know, mm -hmm. but as we confess the word of God and as we do our part um, in, in eliminating those things mm -hmm. that we know we should eliminate. And as you pray, Holy Spirit, what am I doing that, that I need to eliminate in my life so yeah. that I can experience his will for our lives? Because mm -hmm. his will is for us to walk in health okay. and us to be whole in every way, spirit, soul, and body. Yeah. All right. So anyway, I'm so glad that you joined us. Uh, Dr. Pasco, would you pray us out? Would you pray for those who are okay. watching yeah. and just pray for healing? Lord God, I just thank you for Cece, Ashley, and this format that she has mm -hmm. created. Lord, I pray for all yes, of those Lord. out there right now that are struggling with many different health concerns yes, and that they're worshiping, they're believing, and they feel that they've been left out. Lord God, I pray that you will impart the Holy Spirit upon them. Yes, I pray that you will give them that hunger to seek you no matter what. And Lord, whether it's a child, whatever it is, you are ultimately enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let them seek you more than anything else. Yes, Lord. Because Lord, trying to have a child can become an idol, trying to lose weight can become an idol mm -hmm. instead of just letting the Lord mm -hmm. just be with mm -hmm. us and walk us through Amen. because it's about you, yeah, Lord God. And, it, you. and health is important so, and our children, so we can serve you yeah. and be fruitful and prosperous in whatever you have placed our hands yes, to do. Lord. I just pray for deliverance, for restoration, for mm -hmm. wellness, mm -hmm. and all those that seek you mm -hmm. and come to you in yes, truth and faith. We just thank you, Lord, in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you. I so appreciate it. Me. Thank you all for watching. Remember Absolutely. to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just go back to the simple kind of living Can we just go back and maybe start from the beginning Back to better days when love was for the given Can we just go back to the way we were Yeah, 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 yeah